And we're back with some more Songs of Six. It's not Sticks. I thought it was Sticks after the River Sticks, but it turns out it's not anything to do with the, the River of the Dead and, and Greek mythology or anything. No, it's just it's, it's just Songs of Six. I was, I was very confused. Anyway, done. However, there is a bit of a problem. I have been advised reliably that there can't be such things as cannibal elves. So it may be we're playing elves. However, it's okay. It's okay. We're not tree-hugging elves. Like, so we're not the bad version of elves. But... Okay, we are, like, cannibal elves, so we're technically the bad version of elves, but we're not the tree-hugging bad version of elves, if you know what I mean. So I think it's okay. We're, like, the aggressive version of elves as, as opposed to, the like, you know, the beatnik elves. Uh, I figure we're fine. You know, one of my friends is, is like, a tree-hugger. She actually likes to trug, sh hug trees, you know, but she's French, and, well, she doesn't watch this channel, so we're probably safe on that front. Okay, hey, okay. Hey. In the, in the background, I just threw in some extra housing. We were a little bit short, and uh, we've actually got a few more animals here, so I think our food is now slightly positive. So maybe we can actually do some things. However, people were a little unhappy, so there's a few things we want to fix. For example, they've got corpses everywhere. They breed rats and pests, and we need to take care of them. So I figure the best way to do that is we can go under agriculture, and there's a whole cannibal workshop thing. Cannibals butcher corpses for meat and other resources. Having them can be detrimental to your reputation, but we don't care. Uh, so we're going to put ourselves together with these little cannibal workshops, which should take care of the corpses and increase food supply. Uh, two problems solved with one kitchen. All right, now, when it comes to this, what I'd like to do is stick in the workbench first and make it as incredibly oversized as we possibly can. And we just have to stick in auxiliary stations until we hit capacity. Uh, can these go up against the wall? Oh, yes, they can. Okay, that's one, two, three. All right, we need three of those. So we need to fit those in in the least space-consuming way possible. Uh, yeah, there's no real way around that, is there? Then we just shrink it down to, to a size that will actually allow it. So you can go to there. Excellent. Stick in a couple of doors. Slight modification to the auxiliary benches, and we were getting 100% efficiency, and we've cut down on one square of space. It's not hugely important, but it is nice to be at least reasonably efficient. Then we'll stick some roads around it. And there's fine, done, and done. And I think, yeah, we're good. People can start building that now. Ooh, and maybe let's speed up time a wee bit. But that should increase our meat supply while simultaneously getting rid of those corpse debuffs. And I think, what's our food at? 14. Hmm. I think we still don't have quite enough food, but we're probably going to want to import some people right about now. You know what? Let's add in... Oh. Say, authorize four immigrants. Actually, give me another three. There you go. It'll make people a little bit unhappy, but the cannibalism should sort of even that out. A slaver has arrived and is offering his goods. Would you like to make a purchase? Ha. Huh. We don't have the 1.2 million they're looking for, so, uh, no? I think I think we're good. I don't think we want any of these slaves. Plus, we're not really a slave race, uh, or slavers. Uh, just, you know, something unpleasant about that whole thing. Looking around, I think our next crafting project is probably going to be tailoring. This will allow us to churn out clothing, which keeps people happier, which means we can import more people. Uh, I think over here is probably it. We've got a little bit of space. I like making everything seven tiles wide and then sort of stretching it out really long. Then we fit in what we want and shrink down the building afterwards. That looks just about right. 100% efficiency and we get to do all the tailoring we want. Though, that's going to be pretty expensive. Uh, down here, I think I may have messed up. I don't think I put in a storage section. I wonder, can we add in a storage section after the fact? Oh, doesn't require one. Workbench and auxiliary station is all it needs? Well, this, unfortunately, does not appear to be helping with our corpse problem. Corpses are everywhere. They breed rats and pests. Something needs to be done. Well, I would, but there's... I just, you know, eat them. That's... Uh, I swear... Also, there's a mass grave over here. There's plenty of space in it, right? right? It's a mass grave. It's not like a mini one. Mm, sometimes these pawns just get to me. Anyway, over here, we've got 19 animals. Uh, over here, we've got 21 of 41. So this pen is full. This one is about half full. Uh, our meat is going up, but not as fast as I would like. I think our next pen is not going to be of bulls. It's going to be of a different critter that gives us far more space. To, well, will give us double the meat. And it's just right now, I think the biggest limiting factor for us is food. Which reminds me, we should probably import a few more people. Let's, uh, let's grab in eight more. Yeah, bring them all in. How many uh, immigrants have we left going? we got another eight that are ready to come in. Jeez, okay. Uh, we're going to need more food, aren't we? No. We need to start working on the next level of tech. Right now, we've got ourselves... We're able to produce furniture. The furniture allows us to produce some of the higher-end buildings. This over here is the tailoring shop. This allows us to produce clothing. 
It consumes our leather. The leather gets turned into clothing, and the clothing our people wear, which makes them happy. If you go under services, scrap that. It's not services, it's access. Okay, so under access, you can see here they get clothes, and their clothes give them heat resistance, cold resistance, but as well as that, it's got a liking from our citizens. So as long as we give them one piece of clothing, they're quite happy. I think I can go up to four and they gain bonuses from it. But their clothing only lasts for ten days, at which point it wears out, and you have to give them replacement clothing. And how is our clothing looking at the moment? I think we ran out a while back, did we? Nope, we still have two clothing left, but that might be just stuff we built recently. So more clothing, everyone gets their clothes, everyone should be a little bit happier, which means we can hire more people. Of course, we need to be able to feed all of those, so I think we're going to need to build another ranch. Jeez, look, the amount of ranches we've built. This is food production, just these sections down here. This is food production, and the, the amount of it that's housing is kind of crazy. I'm going to have to deforest half of this area just to build the housing necessary. All right, you know what? We're going to put in the, uh, we're going to get ready to put in this, uh, pasture, but I don't think we're going to occupy it just yet. Namely because it costs too many people. Uh, you, what? Why can't I place roads? Turns out I had conversion on, and convert, it seems, was, was uh, it's one of those little bugs you, well, not a bug, one of those little quirks of the game that I hadn't quite figured out yet. Alright, so, if you can't place roads in the future, just make sure you're not just trying to convert them to the same road you already have, and you won't run into that problem. Right, we'll put in a, a quick road around here, and then we're going to be putting in another giant pasture up here, but for something that's not bulls. Wait, wait, never mind. Turns out I have not been using these things to their maximum. Fertility affects how many animals you can put in a pasture. So if I click in here, well, let's, see, let's click on some ground over here. If I click on, right click on the ground over here, it tells me what the fertility is. So it's 53% over here, which is bad. Uh, however, these uh, brighter blue spots are 66. In fact, down here, we've got all the way up as far as 80. And over here, we actually have 86, 80. This whole area looks far more fertile. Now, there is some less fertile patches, but, oof. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to come down here. This area all through here looks far more fertile. And I'm thinking a nice big ranch down this section would probably be a much more efficient use of our resources. Yeah, give me a second. We're going to put a nice huge ranch here for big fat meat cows. Now that's a nice big chunk of farmland. Also, it's going to deforest this whole area. Oopsie. But, you know, that'll give us plenty of wood to work with as well, which we're probably going to use. This is indolence, which are basically pigs. Pigs are... Well, they're different from the cows in that they produce only meat and we don't get any hides out of them. That's fine. We've got enough hides, I think, for now. And plus, what's really bottling and necking us right now is the food. Our food is staying about stable, but it means we're not able to employ as many people as we would like. Uh, let's just take on another six immigrants. Why not? Uh, the more workforce we can get, the better. That's sort of one of the, the bottlenecks here, and it's really getting to me. I should have planned this out a lot better. And animals are a much slower way to go. I think if we were going with the crop section, we could massively expand our food farming. But uh, we're more we're, we're more carnivorous. Oh, and uh, let's try the super fast speed, shall we? Yeah, I don't think we have enough people to do it, do we? Oh, damn it! I just noticed as well. We need more housing. We're one housing short. Uh, the housing we're missing is over here, according to this. So let's throw in say another little four block of housing right in this section. Probably better. We'll have four houses there, though. It probably will take a few minutes. Let's even get them both on the screen at the same time when it's zooming out to strategic level. All right. High speed this. Let's do it. Housing complete. No homeless. Uh, oh god, the deforestation. Oh, we're going to need more storage for, for wood. What are, What's our wood allowance in there? Uh, you know what? We'll put you up to 2k. We're probably going to need more than that. Oh my god, that's some incredible deforestation. Oh well, dreadful news. A case of the white shimmer has been discovered. Let's hope it doesn't spread. Victims of the white shimmer suffer high fever and sometimes delirial. It's highly contagious, but fortunately most infected recover within a few days. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, we need a doctor. Damn it, I meant to put one of those down and I completely forgot about health. Uh, well, laboratory... Oh, yeah, we need technology for that, don't we? We'll get a... Yeah, we've been kind of late on the technology front, but, you know, in my defense, I wanted more food. Uh, let's hope too many people don't die. Worst case scenario, we have more immigrants ready to take up the, the slack, right? Yeah, definitely. And it's just more food, one way or the other. This deforestation is taking a long time. We're up to like 2,700 wood. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this location. This is just uh, very time In fact, this ranch over here is now fully populated. We've actually managed to fully populate this ranch while it's been going on. On the bright side, we'll have plenty of stuff in here to throw in. Our food is 
just about stable, but I think once we get this up and running, we should be away in a hack. Are you almost finished? Oh my god, they're still chopping down all the wood. What are you up to? 3,400 wood in storage. That's ridiculous. Thank god there's not a time... Actually, I hope there's not a time limit on this. If there's a time limit on how long we have to get stuff done before we get slammed, we're probably going to be in trouble. Uh, you tear that area out? Perfect. Now you can build it, right? There we go. They're actually building the whole thing up. And then once it's done, they should populate it with all the critters we've accumulated, which is 19. Hmm. Let's find out. Done. Hey, what are you up to? You are going to be... We're going to set you to auto-employ. Um, you have zero animals so far. But don't worry. The game will cop on in a second that we have a bunch in storage. We... Oh, there they go. It's starting to dump them in now. 15, 17... Okay, now that's... It can support 118 animals? Are you kidding me? Like, this place over here can only support 41. This one, which is not much larger, just happens to be on more fertile land, can support 118. That's... Okay, that's almost triple the amount. Uh, need to keep an eye out for fertility more. That makes a huge difference. Okay, th true, we did have to chop down masses of forests and stuff to do it, but that's still worth it. Which reminds me, we should make a woodcutting area over here. Uh, this should mean our food will start to go up rather rapidly now. And I think it's time for technology. Yeah. We'll start building technology. We'll worry about food in a minute. We'll keep an eye there. We're at 11 for now. If our food keeps continuously going up, we can hire some more people. Or I can just risk it now. You know what? Let's let's take on just a few. Uh, give us... No, not 11. Give us... 8 will be fine. Boom. Now... Doctor's office is going to be required, which is going to require us to do tech. Uh, I think we put tech over here. Uh, infrastructure, knowledge, laboratory. This only requires wood and furniture, both of which we have in abundance. Uh, you. Let me think. Bizarrely enough, this has no auxiliary stations or anything to do with it. It can generate up to 2.2k knowledge, but... Oh, the research system in this game is a bit weird. Let's, let's build it first. And then once it's done, we can go through the uh, the weirdness that is the research in this game. It's an interesting new method. All right, lightning speed, do your thing. We're at 10 days of food. Let's see if that goes up or down or remains stable with all of the animals we have running around the place. Done. We've got laboratory. Up and running. How many workers can you support? Up to 32. We're going to take that down a notch. I think 10 is sufficient at this level. What have we got? 82 people. Say 15. We'll allow 15 people to employed there. Uh, we'll leave its priority at 10. That puts it ahead of the woodworking and it puts it ahead of the tailoring. Both of those we've reduced to 8. I mean, we've kind of got enough clothes and furniture going around for a while. Alright, and how are you looking? You've got 38 animals in there. That's a lot of piggies. I mean, sorry, endolent. Uh, that should drastically improve food production. That's already at, what, plus 16? That's more than this field is doing and it did it in half the time. Mind? Learn stuff for the next time round. Yeah, what's next up? Oh, yeah, research screen. After skipping time forward a bit, you'll see our research up here has gone up to about 300. Now, once it's gone up a bit, you can click on it, and you can start seeing all the things that are possible to research, and it gets, well, really confusing. Normally you think, oh, I'd start at the top and work my way down, but that's not really how it works. What you can do here is you can literally jump to anywhere. You can jump to the bottom and start going, oh, I'd like to reduce spoilage, or increase maintenance, or even work on your trade negotiations. Hell, you could jump straight into roads. However, I think the smartest plan for us would be to go, for, well, in theory, would be to go for food. Right now, we're pulling in a decent amount, but we're not quite breaking even. I think we can crank this up. What this does is increases our efficiency on Aurora, Endolent, and Ox pastures. So let's say take this. This one's going to be very stable. We're pulling in 13.61 a day is the estimate. Now, if we grab that research that increases that pasture's productivity by 10%, uh, yeah, yes, yes, please. Uh, 13.61. Nope, still the exact same. Oh, wait, we have to unpause it, don't we? Why is the skill level not gone up? Hmm. Does this take time to apply? It says that a rogue pastor should get plus 10%. Ooh, well, there's 25 levels to that. Next one only costs 325. Oh. There we go. It's actually starting to go up. We've hit 154. Yeah, it's gone up to 14.97. So that actually increases our food income. And that should work across the entire block. That's... Like, I was wondering exactly what these skill things did. But from what I can see, it just it increases the output. 
doesn't actually change the amount of time it takes. It just changes the amount of output you get. That seems very valuable. Like daily tending here was always 171. So now it stayed at 171, but our food income has gone up here and here. Excellent. Hmm. That should mean that should go up and we can now start hiring more people. And we can probably get them to man the laboratory a bit more as well with those extra people. Which means we can probably afford some more research. Now, research here does have a maintenance cost. Uh, penalty here. Like, when you're... When, when your allocated knowledge exceeds your total knowledge, technologies drastically become less efficient. Either increase your knowledge pool or disable technologies to, to steer clear of doom. Um, how do I explain this one? I'm not sure I understand it myself. That's the problem. All right, I'll level with you. I don't think I get this fully yet and I haven't figured out all the mechanics, but here's how it should work. Effectively, the more stuff you research, the more you get a penalty applied to your research production. And what happens is if you research too much stuff, you won't be producing enough knowledge to maintain your current level of understanding. So basically, once you learn a knowledge, it, you can actually forget it or have problems with it. It's not like normal games. This is to stop you just researching everything again and again, or researching everything and just maxing out the whole tech tree. You have to keep increasing the amount of labs you get and the amount of people who are, in, are using those labs. Otherwise, you sort of regress a little bit and you start losing your bonuses. I don't know exactly where that happens and how exactly it's, it's calculated, but according to this we can maintain about 1,598 points. That means we should be able to research technologies that cumulatively cost roughly less than that. So we might want to increase the amount of people. You know what? Let's max this out. We're going to go all the way up to the max, and then we're going to start hiring in more people. We actually... Yep, our food should now have gone past the point where we can afford to do that. Uh, we will take on... Give us 16. I'm probably going to have to build more housing, but that's just a price we're going to have to pay. Uh, housing can go probably down here somewhere. We've got some free space for it. Oh, actually, wait. How fertile is that land down there? Oh, that's pretty fertile. Let's uh, let's build it somewhere over here instead, where the land's a little bit less uh, glorious for raising animals. Done. That is several more chunks of housing that should hopefully keep the new recruits happy. Uh, we have one person who's currently homeless, but we can sort them out in a wee bit. Uh, how's that research looking? You coming along nicely? Yeah, much better. What is this? You now employ over 25 in the laboratories, and as a result, the combined experience is boosting the performance by 8%. Next experience boosted at 100 employees. Oh, that's interesting. So the more people we stick in lab, you're kind of incentivized to put in at least 25 to get that 8% experience bonus. Next experience boost is 100 employees. I shall keep that in mind. So you'd want to make sure that your first laboratory can support at least 25 employees. Uh, just for future reference. Yeah, we have 263. I'm thinking the next upgrade is probably going to go into food again. Why not? Husbandry. That will bring us up to... Well, it's going to cost us 325 research. Then we can maybe segue into some of the other things. I would like to get ourselves a graveyard, and I would also like to get ourselves a stage. I noticed something interesting here. I believe the 10% bonus we got is applied on top of our base skill. We had a base of 1.4, or 140% skill in this. The 10% bonus gave us 14 percentage points of a bonus. So that 10% was multiplied by our base skill. Ah. Huh. That means we should go up to 68 for the next one. Uh, let's apply that now. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, I'm willing to spend the science just for science. Uh, come on. It slowly goes up. Yeah, our meat amount goes up. Our hides go up. Now you should max out around 68. If you go above that, that would be interesting. But I don't think you will. Yeah, it's like you can see down the bottom, a total is 1.68. So we're going to max out about 168% bonus on this. That's kind of nice, though it's taking its time on the end of it. I think it needs... Uh, oh, yeah. It's maxed out over there because people were working more actively on it. This place, once it's finished, yeah, same again. And over here, yeah, they're working it. So it goes up as people work it. We're going to max out at 18 food from that. We're going to get 8 from that. And so far, we're on 29 here, and it's about half full. Nice. Slavers, no, thank you. We are good. All right, with all that done, I think it's time we get into some of the other researches we should be doing, namely a graveyard and a stage. Yes, graveyards, please. Now, where are we going to put that graveyard? Probably back here somewhere, just somewhere out of the way. Actually, no, oh, people like these things, right? Turns out this was going to need to be a little bit bigger than I thought. So I moved it over here slightly, uh, right beside the housing. I mean, first thing you want to see in the morning is, you know, your, your dead relatives. Uh, we just put in trees to get respect. That's it. We didn't bother with any of the flowers or pathways or any of that stuff. We could have made it nice and pretty, but no. Nope, nope. That's that's way too much effort. We just want something efficient that holds our dead people. Also, it turns out 
the dead are only temporary. At some point, the, the graves expire or the people in them are disintegrate or whatever. You can keep reusing the graveyard so long as you leave enough time in between deaths, which we're going to try and do, of course. Uh, has our research looking pretty good? We have got graves. So next up, I think we're going to be going with stages. Oh, and how is food looking? Hmm, we cracked the 825 food mark. I think we can hire a few more. Well, wait, is that because our crops just came in? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, apples just came in. We'll, we'll wait till tomorrow to make sure that uh, the, the food was actually all from our meat imports. Yeah, I think it's time we hired. These things are not getting built. We don't have enough people. Uh, 15 people? We'll take them. It'll drive down everyone's happiness just a scooch, but it should give us a few more people to help out. Oh, do you not have any homes? Well, build them. That's what you're here for. We need the extra labor. Oh, and research-wise, we are going to grab ourselves a... St I don't think we even need the stage, to be honest. Mm, I should probably grab it now. Okay, we'll grab a stage. Just to make sure we've got a, a little bit of a extra mood if we t really need it. But for now, I think we're pretty solid, and it's just food we want to crank up. Food and more people. Again and again and again. Well, this is not good. Our uh, housing, we have a bunch of homeless people, and they just won't build the houses. We may have... Like, I suppose we could turn this off. We could disable this section here, basically lock it off so that no one can use it. I mean, why not? Turn on or off activity for this place. So, we turn that off. And we turn that off. We don't need any more clothing, we don't need any more of those things. And then hopefully that'll free up enough people to actually get the housing constructed. Before they all, you know, freeze to death or something. Yeah, how is their clothing? We got 68 pieces of clothing, we got 422 pieces of furniture. We can turn them back on when all of this stuff is built. Science, we're going to leave going though. Science, I think, is pretty important to us. In fact, if we check on that, what's it saying is their allowance? 27,000. Hmm. I'm definitely thinking more food research. How much does that cost? 423? Yes. Uh, more food means more people. More people means more science. It just it takes the same amount of people to farm this area and we get more food out of it. That just seems like a massive win-win. And yet we're going to need more damn housing. God damn it. Oh, wow. Last year we overproduced quite handily and this year we seem to be doing quite well. I think we hire more people. We're just, we seem to be pulling in as many as we need. So how much is that? 17? Yep. Authorized a lot. Oof. Now, we're going to need a bunch of housing to support that, but I think we've got enough wood to plow that out. I think once, though, we've got these houses built, we take a pause just for a brief moment. You see, what I want to do is set out a, a more sustainable way of obtaining wood, because right now we don't have a sustainable way of doing it, and we're kind of chewing through our wood supplies. I'm thinking over here might be some sort of forestry section. All right, but first, housing. Now all they got to do is build it, and with all the extra builders, that actually... Went through incredibly quickly. Are you are you no longer complaining about dead people lying about the place? Excellent. Forgive me, while the city is divinely built, consider making it look a bit more organic. No. Squares all the way. This this race do not like squares. They like circles, but I don't care. Uh, we want stages of good quality, better access to arenas of good quality. Fine, I can get you a stage. We can put one down right there. Though we really do need to get into mining shortly. Entertainment, give us a stage. Okay, how big can we make this sucker? Turns out stages are just, yeah, a one-size-fit-all. Um, fine, we'll stick down four of them. I should really check to see how we're looking on the services front. Wells are at 71%, hearts are at 71 news spots is at 81 lavatories are at 69%. Wow, we're, we're actually running short on lavatories. Well, in that case, we will just... No, wait, it's not control left click, it's shift and left click. We'll build a second lavatory right over here. Uh, there is... Oof. There? Yeah, there we'll do fine. And we'll show in a couple of extra roads. Problem solved. And then we just hit four to speed it up. Though I should probably allow some people back to work in a few of these areas. How's clothing looking? You know what? You guys, get back in there. We need more clothing. Wait, that's the wrong one. That's the... Damn it, that's the furniture. You know what? You can both go back to work. Excellent. How are we looking on the food front over here? We are 89 animals. Uh, food's looking pretty tasty. Everything's looking fine. I think it's time we started in on the mining. There is stone, uh, iron, coal, and some sort of weird gems in there. I say we start mining land. Oh, we're probably going to need stone as well. Let me have a quick look through the tech tree and see what's uh, best for us. I have been looking through the tech tree and things are um, interesting, let's just say. 
Uh, for example, let's go with the boyer. boyer. That allows us to make bows and stuff like that, but it doesn't really help us. What I'm really interested in is improving food production. The more efficient our food production, the less people we need to put on food, and the more people we can put on science. The more people we can put on science, the more tech we can get that can help us put less people on food. We want to minimize the amount of people it takes to feed us so that we have the maximum amount of population freed up for, you know, building civilization. Which, yeah, that seems actually like a very reasonable thing to do. So, uh, well, I was initially just going to go, let's just dump all our research into pastures. There is one other thing we can do that can help. Under pastures, you can apply tools here. Uh, most industries allow tools to be equipped to workers for faster production. So we should start making tools. Now, we can't buy stuff, but I'm kind of staying out of the trade section for now, so we have to build everything ourselves. It just, I prefer to do it that way. It gives us a better understanding of the game. So if we go under here, work, crafting, smithy. Smithy allows us to produce weapons, it allows us to produce armor, but it also allows us to produce tools. It's the top one there. So we need to get tool production underway, which requires coal and steel. Right. To get steel, we need the metal refinery. Well, I don't know if it's called steel yet, I haven't known how it But the metally bar looking steel things, we're going to need that with iron ore and coal in a metal smelter. So we're going to need a metal smelter and we're going to need a smithy. So it's two buildings we're going to need. But however, to feed the smithy and the metal smelter, we're going to need mines. One coal, one ore. We don't need a clay pit. I really thought we were going to need a clay pit already, but that seems to be for baking pottery and drinks and... Our people are happy enough. We're, they're fine for now. So, we need to make a coal mine and an ore mine. I think coal mine is probably first, and there seems to be coal over here. However, uh... Yeah, it's the middle of the night, isn't it? Let's just speed this up till dawn. There we go. Morning time. So this is the coal area over here, but as you can see, it's kind of locked off. So we want to give ourselves a little bit of space to work with. There should be the option in here to dig into mountain. Exit. You dig those areas out. And you know what, dig out that area as well while you're at it. We want to stick ourselves in a coal mine down here. Anyone want to get around to that? Pretty far away, I know, but come on. Anyone? Actually, we might want to dig a passage through there if at all possible. Assuming no one. Do we need pickaxes or something for this, maybe? Well, while they'll decide whether or not they want to do that, we should set up a little forestry section here to start generating ourselves wood. The problem is we're running out. Or we eat through our wood way too quickly, and eventually we will destroy the lot. So, we're going to go with woodcutters. Excellent. This produces three wood per worker, depending on a bunch of stuff. I'm thinking we're going to get this whole area here. Give me a minute to try and figure out how we're going to squeeze this in, but I'm thinking something... Pretty substantial is going to be in order. So, according to this, it'll produce 42 wood. Take 14 workers, though. Uh, yeah, go for it. That's a pretty large area. Then, how long will that actually take to produce? Production cost 64 stone, 64 of furniture. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we should probably harvest some more stone. Oh my god, we're, we're out of stone and I haven't even noticed. There we go. Stone should be harvested. We should have enough to finish off our construction projects. How are you looking? Why are you not finished yet? The difference between this wood cutting section and, and just clear cutting is we actually get the resources that are sustainable. It doesn't actually destroy any of the trees, so it just keeps producing it indefinitely. It's ex more expensive than just chopping down trees, but it does give you a sustainable source of wood, which is kind of important long term. And did you guys go in there and do some digging? Yes, you did. Good little minions. I mean, people, whatever. Judging by our current food income, I think we can handle oh, 24 aspiring immigrants. Why not? Yeah, it's definitely gonna hurt our, uh, our loyalty for a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. That should give us more than enough labor to start c uh, taking care of a few extra things. Oh, and we've turned off the carpentry for a second. Namely until we get these mines up and running. Ah, they're there. You can actually hear them tinking away. Now, the reason we're getting them to tink away here is that's actually where the coal is. Uh, you can't really see it too conveniently unless you bring up... Ah, there we go. You just right click. Oh, that's so easy. Okay, so there's all the coal mines. Now we need to get at the coal, so we have to sort of peel this back, and then we need some places for auxiliary stuff to go in. You want to get those last two chunks for us? Who's sleeping? Oh, we're going to have to make housing out here, aren't we? I just realized they need to have housing local to where they're working. That's how this game works. Uh, second here. So these places here don't have housing, these places, these places, so we need to chuck in a bunch of housing for these people real quick before we get around to the coal mines. I think a few houses right here will do fine. We have this crowd over here housed. Well, just about. They don't seem to be complaining anymore, which is good. 
We have 123 soldiers? What? One recruit? Chances of getting raided yearly. Raid spawn from a neighboring rebel region. Yeah, if there are none, chances will be low. Chances go up with the population which is in size of your kingdom. Well, that is good to know because we are probably really far behind the curve. Anyway, infrastructure, civics, uh, housing. We want to grab a few houses for over here. We're going to have miners in this section and it would be nice if those miners had somewhere to stay. So that was terribly placed. That looks a little bit better. And we'll put four houses over there and then we're going to put in the mining section over here. Uh, for mining, actually, we'll wait till the houses are done. That might be a smarter idea. Everyone want to get over there and build it? How's our wood looking? Our wood's kind of going up a bit, but down a bit, but uh, we'll see how it stabilizes. Though I might want to start turning on the furniture again, which is going to hurt us. All right, in here, work, mines. We're going to want, what is this again? This is coal deposits, yes. So for the coal mine, it seems to want us to pick a locate or pick an area, so all of this. This has the potential for 9.67 production, which is pretty terrible. And we would need storage and auxiliaries. Auxiliaries are going to be, say, this. Eh, let's expand that out. You know what? I don't think doubles are going to work in here. I think they will. Oh, wow. We're going to need a lot more space, aren't we? Uh, you know what? Never mind. We will have to mine out even more of this. Ah. Uh, that might take a minute. Sorry, guys. Hope you like being underneath a mountain. Uh, it's going to get even weirder when we come in here. We'll probably have to build housing inside here for them. Ugh, weirdness. Okay, give it a minute while they mine that out. After a lot of mining, we, we've got, I think, a decent coal mine going up. It'll have 70 workers with a production of 15.79, which is terrible. But we, we're not going to run it flat out to start. I can see where the bottlenecks are going to be. This is going to be painful. Also, 93 furniture to build, but at least it gets the entire coal section done. As in, that should mean we don't have to expand the coal mine at any point in the future. Are they? I think they just excavated out all the coal section, did they? Yep. I could have just done an excavation command for coal and they would have just completely done it. Oh wow, that that's finished. Well, that was quick. Yeah, you've got too many employees. Just way too many. Got just like just a bajillion too many. We're going to put you to five. Five is a reasonable amount. We don't need that much coal right now and we want that to be dug out. That gives a shorter path for everyone to come back through here. And at the same time, homelessness is at six. Why? I'm going to bet it's, yeah, it's the over here section. There's not enough uh, housing for the people over this. Well, who are working in the mines? Mm hmm. We sort of have to expand around here somewhere and put in some food supply. But for now, not going to worry about it. For now, we're going to go about getting the second stage employed, which is iron. That is going to be our iron mine. And I even included a little bit of stone down here because I think once they start, they'll actually excavate that really quickly. Which if I had known that, I would have built this into the mine so that it would have got excavated really quickly as opposed to people just slowly drilling through it. Actually, we'll find out in a second. Let's put this on high speed and see what they do. Oh, never mind. No, it does take them a long time to get through it. I really thought they were much faster down the bottom. Actually, they're not. It does seem faster. All right, we're going to put some housing in here as well. Just because they need somewhere to stay and having stay somewhere close to where they're mining seems to be, well, the smart plan as far as I can tell. Oh my god, I just realized you can expand and contract these housings. That's, um, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, that saves us a bit of effort. There we go. Nice. Well, we've definitely got a, a little bit of housing there for everyone. Ah, I feel like such a muppet. Ooh, cotton's actually maxed out. You can see here that's gone red. That indicates that you don't have enough storage assigned in your storage facility. We'll crank that up one for cotton. Uh, how are you looking? You're actually a little bit too much assigned to you. We're still running off one storage bin. I'm actually kind of shocked considering how deep we are in. How many people up to? 180? Uh, we do have the housing for them. Let's go grab an extra... Actually, let's grab all 30 of them. Perfect. Food-wise, we should be pretty good for a while, but I'm thinking... Oh, now that that's done, and we've got those two started at the very least... Nope, 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 nope. Once we've got those two started and up and running, I think we're going to throw in an extra pasture so we can start expanding out our, our animals even more. We've got 73 livestock in storage, so we can shut down another meat producer real quick. Uh, once, once you guys have finished building that... Anyone? Anyone want to finish that at all? Done! Perfect. Now we're going to cut down the amount of workers there as well. We'll have five of you. So five of each of those. And down here, I was looking around. If we go into fertility, 
There is a massively fertile area down here that can be turned into a beautiful, beautiful area for all of our uh, endolent pigs. Yeah, right here should be just about perfect. That, that looks absolutely perfect. Cost 222 wood, and that should put us way over on the food production, at least for a while. Nope, turn off fertility for a second. Then we double tap forward to super speed it. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to strip mine all the wood out. Done. Right, they should have just have to smooth it out. That'll hold 124 animals. It's actually slightly more efficient than this one. Nice. Here comes the little piggies now. And food production starts to skyrocket. Nice. That means we can hire even more people. Ah, I do like... Oh, man. At that zoom out, it does look like they really engineered this well. I do like the, the smoothness of this game and just how all the things have been engineered. This is designed for someone who wants to make a nice big city. Now, this small scale stuff. We may not get the, uh, the cozy feeling from all of our pawns, but you can actually click in on them and find out stuff about them. Uh, is it in good health? Weighs an impressive 56 stone. Stands 7 foot 6 tades tall? I have no idea what that... Described as being a hopeless romantic, has immigrated to your city, originates from a village in the region of... Pa whatever. That's a guy? O okay. Hmm. Working hard for your majesty. Well, you best be, buddy. You best be. Okay, we got 90 animals in there already. This thing is producing 2.6 animals a day. This is producing 1.7 animals a day, and this is producing 0.78. Oh, I think the skill bonus actually also affects livestock production. Oh, man. That makes them much more powerful, the livestock section. I mean, okay, people who are doing, got the farming bonuses, they're going to get massive stacked bonuses as well, but for the farming bonuses, this works out quite nicely. Hmm. Does not stack with our egg producers, though, unless we research that. Nope. Nope. Not going to worry about it. All right, we have got these two things down over here. Uh, we're still waiting on them to excavate this out, but that might take a few minutes. We should probably put down a few extra houses just for these mines, because these people only have five employed at them at the moment, but we're probably going to be upping that after a while. And I, of course, have not included any storage locations over here because I'm an idiot. We have now added a crate for coal and ore over this section. Uh, I don't think... I think we may have chosen badly on the ore production front. We're not going to be able to get this very high. Like, yeah, even with this maxed out? We'll see. We may be forced to rely on trees, which is going to be very inconvenient. After a bit of mining, we've managed to dig ourselves out some more space for our housing. Uh, this means that the people working in these mines are not so homeless anymore. Uh, what I've discovered, though, as well, is the coal is mined a lot, lot faster than the iron. We have 30 people mining iron, and it only gives us 2.19 a day. Uh, this down here, we only have 5 people working on it, 3.57 a day. We don't have a lot of raw resources coming in. We're going to have to make stuff to sell. I'm thinking jewellery, maybe, but no. I can wait. We've got crime. Crime is a problem. That will uh, affect us badly, so we need to sort out the crime. That leads us to a whole host of problems, though. Namely, if we go under infrastructure, law, and guard post. Uh, deter crime, rush to any committed crimes, blah, blah, blah. It requires armor and some sort of refined stone. Neither of which we have. And we can't produce until we get the iron stuff and that whole chain sorted out. So, we need to get refining up and running. Right, so that means we need the metalsmith, which means we need to research that immediately. This is kind of frustrating. I thought we were going to be getting this for good stuff. Alright, you, uh, metalsmith. Perfect, we shall research you. Perfect. Then down here we're going to need smithy. We're also going to need you. Boom, that leaves us 325, which... Yeah, we don't have anything we can spend it on, but that's it. We're maxed out on research right now. We only have 352 research left. If we go above that and take anyone out of the laboratory, we're in trouble. So... Uh, let's immediately get to work on putting some stuff down. I'm thinking Smithy can go here. Actually, wait. Let's move it a little bit closer to, say, this side. Closer to the mountain. We'll probably put in another storage area around here so the Smithy and the... The metal... Blah. The Smithy and the refinery can go right here. Furnace, done. That's going to require 9.6 employees and it'll have an efficiency of 100%. And it will output 9.6, which is, yeah, more than we can actually produce, but that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we can improve upon that later. Once we have tools, we can actually increase the production speed of coal and ah, iron. Also, there's research we can do to bump that up even more. All right, next. Once those two are done, we're still going to need to put down the actual smelter itself. I haven't actually put down it. Well, not the smelter, the, uh, the smithy. That was it. Uh, so the smithy right here can... Ooh, how far can you go out? Hmm. 
Interesting. There, that will produce 14 items uh, and requires 14 employees, all of which we can no, not, not support, not even a little bit. And we're also going to want to stick in some roads, of course. Jeez. This thing gets out of control pretty quickly. Done. Done. And speedy done. I think we have enough people to keep that going. How's everyone's happiness level look? Not as nice as I would like. I think it's because some of them are away from their... Uh, what dreadful news. A case of white shimmer has been discovered. Let's hope it doesn't spread. Yeah, let's hope so. That would be really inconvenient. Uh, if we check... Damn it. Okay, so these places need more housing. Yeah, we can we can put a bunch of housing around here. Not a problem. While they continue with this construction, we do need to make just one small thing we should probably do, and that is we have too much meat. Uh, we're actually... Oh, I'd hire more people, but I think it's actually driving down... You know what? We'll take them. We'll hire a few more people, but it's definitely driving down the, uh, the contentment of our citizens, which is probably what's led to the crime, which... Hopefully we can fix in a bit. We don't have the steel to actually finish the smithy just yet, but soon we should. The smelter is now operational. Excellent. Get in there and start smelting us up some steel. We're going to need a lot of it. Uh, we're going to need, oh my god, 106 bars? How long does it take you to produce? You're gonna, you can produce 12 a day, probably. That's assuming we've got enough. Oh my god, you're going to take 24 coal and 24 iron ore. We can't afford that. Oh, wow, you, you have literally eaten through our entire reserve supply already. Hmm. Well, that requires a rethink. I think we're going to have to start buying this stuff, which is why I wanted to try and get into the trade section here. Uh, what you can do here is you can do special orders and you can sell stuff without even having things set up. We'll sell about 600 of the meat, namely because we've got too much of this stuff anyway. After selling a bunch of meat off, we've got a little bit of money, and for that... We're going to do something a little sneaky. We're going to buy ourselves some tools. Uh, how many tools can we afford? Five? What? Give us four tools. We will buy them. Uh, cheapest, yes. Now, it's going to take a minute for those to show up. But when they do, what we want to do is assign them out to the iron mine. I don't know how long they last or if we need to upgrade them or what the hell. So, yeah. Most industries will allow tools to be equipped. So, if we can get our hands on tools... Oh, and I should probably make some space in the storage area in here for tools. Done. We can hold up to 255. Somehow, I don't think we'll ever hit that number anytime soon. So, if the tools show up, we can throw them in here and we can see them how they affect efficiency. I assume if they improve efficiency, that would be great. Oh, and if there's maybe some research we could do that it could improve our mining efficiency of ores, that would also be wonderful. Oh, would you look at this. Ore mining bonus. 250 research. Yes, thank you. That uh, should give us just a little bit more ore so we can squeeze out some more of that. But I think we might want to focus on getting, well, money in. A jewel mine might be an idea. Uh, how much is a jewel mine and can we afford to put one down? And we can't put down a gem mine because I would need to unlock the research and I just spent the last of our research points. Though so you can drag those back, I believe, if you can unlearn stuff. Uh, to get a gem mine would cost us 1100 To get a scintillion mine would cost us 900 Huh. An idea to expand out our research institute. It would appear equipping the tools gave us 3.33% of a bonus. I wonder how long they last. Considering that tools give a bonus, and we could produce tools if we were a little bit uh, smarter about this, what I decided to do was come back here and completely redesign the smithy by making it absolutely tiny. Now we're going to get it to produce tools. Uh, only a small amount of tools, but we should be able to take these tools and then start dumping them into our mines. The way this works is every miner gets a tool. So we put this on one, every miner gets a tool, so which means we'll need 30 to equip everyone. If we crank that up to two, every miner will get two tools, which gives them, well, even more production bonuses. So I don't know how long they last. If they last long enough, we might just be able to double our, well, increase our production enough that we can start getting those tools applied to everyone else. And then eventually maybe even make a bigger smithy. Though that might be a while. It's going to take like a, how many bars does this actually require to run? You know what? It doesn't matter. We'll see if it works. Ooh, and we do already have six metal. We're probably going to need some more coal. Coal production we can crank up. That's actually pretty handy. This place here, just give us, say, nine people. Done. Coal production should be perfectly fine with that. We can throw people at that problem instead of tools. There they go. Hammering us out some tools. And I think the other person's bringing them stuff. They consume... Well, they'll produce two a cycle, but they, can, they consume 
Oh, a lot of coal and a lot of metal. We can't provide that much. Yes, yes, but we can expand this out. Would you look at that? We have five tools. We've actually got some of our homemade tools giving us a very, very, very minor production bonus. <laughs> Hey, it, it, it's a start. It's a start. We just need to throw tools at the problem. All right, I'm thinking more people, more tech. That's what we need. And while I would like to focus heavily on tools, I don't think we can. We're better off just building well, more pastures and throwing more people at the problem and then using tech to give us more mood. From as now, everyone's mood is getting a little bit uh, low. We need to hit up a few things like religion-wise... Maybe throw in some religion. Uh, just we haven't got any religious buildings or anything like that, and we can research that stuff. Services-wise, mm, might want to get baths at some point. People seem to be getting a little bit annoyed. And maybe get some healthcare to stop all of those plagues. I have four stages. How are you How are you so unstaged? There's four of them there. Stop being annoying about that. And arenas, we should probably get that. So with if we pile down on these... Oh, I also need to get meals, which require us to get clay, I believe. Uh, there's a meal thing we can do. But I say we concentrate from now on. We let those things run in the background and eventually this will max out and we'll have enough tools for everyone to, you know, be wielding, dual wielding pickaxes, which will increase steel production, which will allow our smithies to run on. That's assuming the tools don't degrade. If the tools degrade, well, hmm, options change. In fact, knowing what I know now, I think I'd restart as the dwarves, but for weird reasons. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Next up, massive expansion. We, I think we started with about 50 people or 60 people. We, we've quadrupled the amount of citizens we've got, and I want to try and do that again next round. So I want to try and end on a thousand on the next episode. But let's not give myself too too lofty of a goal. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed Song of Sticks, and good luck. Mm -hmm.